we continue with the best dividend stocks for 2023. Let's go. Let's start with Pioneer. Very interesting one. We have a dividend of almost 12%, which is a lot. And look at the stock, you know, the price has been going up from 2020. After that correction, we had a clear opportunity to buy there with a big percentage to the upside. We'll be talking about, yeah, exactly 540%. That's a lot. So right now, maybe you think this is a good moment to buy. So let's analyze it together and discover it. Yeah, I would say, I mean, it's a buy for the long term, but not right now. You know, look look at the volatility that, that we experienced back in the 90, in 1998 and then in 2008 and then in 2020. So look at what happens, you know, minus 50 percent, minus 60 percent in just a very short period of time. Maybe it could happen in the coming weeks, in the coming months. You know, it's very risky to buy at the top. Yeah, with these kind of stocks that have this uptrend, but at the same time, these huge corrections, the best moment to buy based on technical analysis and the back testing is after that corrections happen, you know, after those descending markets. So right now you can see we're near the new highs. So for now, personally, I would wait at least to see more bullish signals or at least, or sorry, or also a, a deeper correction. Yeah, it, it, yeah, I remember guys, This is, we are in the middle of an energy crisis. So this type of company, the companies benefited the most, you know, at this at this point. So when that finishes, normally the stock market uh, creates a huge correction for that particular sector. So it's going to happen. It's going to happen. The, the, the question is when, you know, maybe it happens now, maybe it happens in a couple of months, maybe it happens next year or maybe in a couple of years. But you have to, you need to have in mind that all energy stocks will suffer a huge correction when the, when the energy crisis finishes. Yeah, okay. This is not financial advice, just our opinion. But of course, right now it seems a bit riskier than if you buy after those corrections and based on the technical analysis and back testing you can clearly see that has been the trading pattern for this stock so keep this in your watch list because it has a nice dividend and let's continue with the next one Randstad this is a company a European company uh look at the look at the long term you know uh, this started trading back in in 2000 2001 and nice performance you know you know from the bottom more than 2000 percent in just 20 years that's amazing yeah that's a lot you know it's it's nice and for dividend stock even better we have a dividend yield of almost nine percent which is very very good and in this one you can see we have also corrections but we are talking the deeper one was the deepest one sorry was 84 percent and then we have similar ones of 50 percent and then 40 yeah 47 so this one is a different scenario you know we don't have uh, those deeper corrections as the other one but also we are near new heights so that's the thing you know if you buy here you have that extra risk of that correction happening okay so let's take a look at the fundamentals because this is we we, we will gather some information from here you know so last year it was one of the best actually more than 700 million and the last quarters that we experienced this year, it's good enough, you know? I mean, I think we will make new highs in terms of benefits for this company. And this is what actually what is reflected in the price, you know? Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, let's go to Braskem. So, okay, so Braskem is a very interesting one, you know, because it's super volatile, you know, but absolutely volatile. But obviously, you know, this is a company, I think is, is definitely not from, from the US market. But actually, it's trained in the U.S. market. I think it's from, yeah, from Brazil is this, the main presence that, that they have. So yeah. with Braskem, I would say the dividend is absolutely not. So what's the dividend, Enrique? Yeah, right now, 37%. I don't believe yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is that kind of stocks, you know, that have a lot of risk. You can see here the price <clears> change <throat> very, very fast with corrections of more than 89%. And then upsides of more than two thousand percent. So this is completely nuts. You know, this is not for conservative traders. Here you have to manage risk uh, even more. And if you swing trade this one, you will do it. You will do it better. You know, than if you just buy and hold. Yeah, this particular point, you know, maybe we should wait. And you know, after this correction finishes, maybe we could see like five dollars. Five dollars, I think, is a good for for a buying opportunity. Um, but also, uh, you know, it's very risky. Look at, let's take a, a, the fundamentals because they are experiencing losses in the last two quarters. And this is something that, you know, you don't want to see as a dividend investor, you know, because if this trend continues, 
you will see like they will reduce the dividend and and the price will continue to fall and everything is go is going bad you know uh, and this is not what you don't want in the dividend stock yeah the thing with this one is is that the risk is there and obviously we have that nice dividend but don't fall in the trap you know just buying it because you see the high dividend yield you have to analyze everything and right now we are in the middle of the downtrend so there is no reason to buy there in our opinion and we should wait and if we see better results and the price bouncing you know like kind of a breakout as it happened in the past you know we had a lot of downtrends and then we had the uptrends uh, happening you know they don't happen one from one day to another you have a period when you can think and place your trades very common you know very comfortably so for now wait for that to happen and keep this in also in your watch list because with that dividend this is very very interesting for 2023 Okay, so we are going to sum up what happened here. I think Randstad is the best of the three, you know, uh, but right now it's not the perfect, you know, I think it's a little bit overvalued, but it's still a buy maybe. Um, Pioneer and Brasken, I would say wait uh, for a buying opportunity. I think the market conditions are going to change uh, in, in these two and will they will suffer a lot in the coming months or maybe years. So maybe wait to find that green light to buy an opportunity with a great dividend. Um, the lower price, the better. Uh, these companies are good. I mean, they will hold and they will perform better in the future. So they have ups and, ups and downs, but you will find a better entry. Yeah, the thing for, with this one, um, I think it's very, very good opportunity if you find the lower price entry. And with these dividends, when you buy at those prices, when the price has been falling, it's a very good opportunity. If you buy right now at the top, for example, with Pioneer or Randstad, keep into account that possibility of the price falling and have a strategy according to that. But if you see the price going lower and the results change, nice, that's the best moment to buy dividend stocks. Okay, so guys, video on the right, keep watching and subscribe and become a human trader. Thank you, have a nice week, we love you.